So, car problems dealt with, Martin gave us a briefing on hunting for wild mushrooms. Which, okay, maybe wasn't quite as dangerous as I said. So everybody talks about mushrooms and worried about the poisonous mushrooms, right. but in reality, there's way more poisonous plants. Right. And plants have some nasty, nasty poisons. Right. So when we look across this habitat right here, this little meadow, yeah. these meadows up in this area are full of death camas. And there are those little onion bulbs that, oh, yeah, literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. that literally can kill you. They sure. say two or three can kill a cow dead, and mushrooms will never do that. You know, you need more volume of mushrooms to be able to actually do somebody really? out in. See, that's reassuring, right? Did you miss the bit about the poisonous plants, though? Personally, you have to always start with small amounts the first time you're eating something, okay. just to see if you personally yeah, react yeah. to it. Right. Some people react to strawberries, some people react to tomatoes. So if we go out there today, and we try a little piece of something, I may be fine. And I may not. And you, Probably not. And you may end up running naked down the, uh, down the field. That's very but possible. Is it, is it like an allergy? It's, a lot of times it's just a food sensitivity. Okay. There was still a level of risk though, wasn't there? Well, I was willing to bet that if you had a sensitivity to mushrooms, you probably would have noticed by now. <laughs> You're always looking out for me, mate. Mixed, mixed white spruce yep. and lodgepole pine. You know, that's uh, Pinus, actually they pronounce it, the, Latin, the proper Latin pronounce eyes like E's, so it's actually penis, it's a penis contorta. So, we've arrived in Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada, and we find ourselves deep in the forest picking mushrooms. And when it comes to mushrooms, mine's like a human encyclopedia. Because mushrooms, like humans, can't make their own sugars. So what the mushrooms do is they actually grow onto the roots of the trees, and they, with their all their enzymatic action, they go out and they break down phosphorus and nitrogens, and they bring all the phosphorus and nitrogens to the tree. Okay. And typically, you get about 100,000 kilometers. So you get about 65,000 miles of fungal roots that go nice with sale. every tree. Wow. It turns out smell is an important way to tell one mushroom from another. So this fella, when you smell it, it's not real pleasant. So it's got a kind of a, I find it a bit of a metallic smell to it. This and So this one, I think, I think this is, this is Hidnellum suaviolens, the sweet smelling one, and we just get a little bit of sweetness off of that. Yeah, yeah. kind of actually, you know what, that one's got a, that one's, tell me what that smell is. And once I tell you what that smell is, you'll go, oh yeah. And then you'll, that one, come on, admit it. Tell me. Urine? No, <laughs> but know. close. <laughs> That's got a fairly strong spermatic odor to it. Oh. We get lots of info on fungus, but not a lot about the mill. If we bring this back to the chefs, <laughs> they'll be really pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> they can't do nothing with us. So this is a poisonous one. Okay. So that one, so we're going to leave. in the basket? <clears throat> that goes, well, it depends. <laughs> but with some perseverance, we managed to find something edible. You'd like to think that knowing which mushrooms are safe and which ones are poisonous would be a simple matter of shape or color. In Alberta, we're really fortunate that we have no poisonous bolides except for one. Oh. But no, it's not that easy. That's good to know. Yeah. yeah. Which one? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, we're not safe. <laughs> See, these are the these are the things that I you know. It's like it's, it's always scare you. it's always you can have every single one. Except There's for... one, and you know what? We're <laughs> gonna get you're... not risky. You said. Not very risky. Now the important question. This mushroom was edible, but how tasty was it? So these guys here are an edible mushroom, but they're certainly not an incredible mushroom. Okay. So fried, if you like slugs and things like that, you'll love these things fried. We thought it best to keep looking. Beautiful. We've got a few wormholes, but you know what I would do is I'd flick these guys out of here and I would, I would eat this. You would? Absolutely, and I'll tell you why. Canada, Health Canada comes down hard on, on the food industry, but what they will allow is they'll allow in the range of 16 to 18% of the protein in a can of mushrooms to come from an insect source. Okay. So when you're buying canned mushrooms, 
you've you, got larvae and you've you know got, they're in there. You know they're in there. So basically, you've eaten bugs already. And that's supposed to reassure me, is it? Well, nothing bad happened so far. I mean, it's perfectly healthy, right? I mean, it could be worse. I mean, to me, it's not as disturbing as canned tuna, which they allow up to 20% wow. protein. And when you think of a canned tuna, there, it's packing a punch yeah. of protein. Yeah. Yeah. And up to a fifth of it can come from an insect source. Wow. So, w except, <coughs> excuse me, acceptable limits. Yeah, acceptable, I'll, acceptable I'll, limits. I'll eat a few worms. Yeah. Yeah. 20% insect. God knows how much dolphin. Not something that we're going to have to worry about on this week's meal. Finally, yeah, I lucked yeah, into look, something great. Hey, Martin. Yeah, super hurt. Hey, well, what we got over here, mate? Look at these. Holy Ooh. smokes. What are they? Hey, Ooh, okay. you got the find of the day so Nice, far. Rich. Cheers, Beautiful. Man. <laughs> nice. So nice. these ones are just about impossible to confuse with anything because they've got teeth. So these are hedgehogs. Oh, so I was talking earlier about the hedgehogs yeah, right, 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 right. being genetically the same as chanterelles. So these are our Alberta chanterelles. Oh, cool. This is what we've got. Now these are sounding tasty. This is sweet and nice. Oh. Not only is it a favorite, you gotta be an idiot to misdiagnose this. Oh, I, I, wouldn't, the, I wouldn't underestimate me. There's nothing with teeth that'll poison you. There's some things that'll pucker your lips like we've got, we found that bitter <laughs> hedgehog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the one that smelt really bad. Yeah, yeah. So, those ones we wouldn't confuse as soon as we cooked them. But these, awesome, awesome, Richard. awesome oh, mushrooms. Oh, cool, nice, Let's, fine. Oh, hang on, oh, look at that. Oh, look at this ring. Look at this oh, ring. ring. Oh, that ring. Yeah, okay. see the little ring here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Notched gills, remember? White notched gills, tricholoma. Yep. What's in the tricholoma family? Oh, yeah, hey, the hedgehogs are OK. But <laughs> this is the find of the day. All right, I'll give it to him. So it turns out what we found was a pine mushroom. So this is what the Japanese pay hundreds of dollars a pound for. Oh, wow. This mushroom. This is the one that that's that that people that that people arm themselves in the woods and guard their patches. A fungus worth its weight in gold, and we found it on the forest floor. Now I consider that a successful mushroom hunt. And that it was, and we had found our second side dish. And by this point. A pint was sounding like just the thing. We're all right, and we're all in this together. We can make it to the finish. When we do, we will begin again. And all this lies like a ship out in the harbor. We can take it where we want, and when we do, we will be satisfied. So speak your mind. Let your free flag fly Don't take more than